Okay, so the next thing we want to do in the installation is get our fuel cell mounted up. Again, you're dealing with a gravity-fed liquid system, so the higher you can get it so that you can get better flow, the better off you're going to be. One thing to keep in mind is if you do have the engine adap uh, adapter installed on the stand, you're going to need to go a little higher than you would otherwise. A lot of people, when they uh, uh, mount these, they want to get the top uh, flush with the top of the frame. But again, as you can see, because of the uh, mounting system for the engine adapter, we need to go up a little higher. So we've actually already spec this out. I balled everything in and drilled our hole, so now we'll get this installed. But I did want to mention that to you, that if you do have this engine adapter installed, you're going to have to go a little higher than you would otherwise. But uh, it'll function just fine, and it'll give you uh, good access to everything that you'll need on the new test bank. Okay, so now we've got our fuel cell mounted. You can see again, everything is locked in. Uh, again, you're going to need to drill for your mounts to put it exactly where you want. It gives you the opportunity to put it where, for your application, you'll need it to be. Obviously, for the plumbing, you'll have to have your engine set in there and locked into place before you can run your plumbing for your fuel and your coolant and all of that stuff. We have one more step, and then we'll be all done. Then we can start talking about the first project we're going to build on the green and test it. We'll be right back. Okay, the last little piece of kit that we need to put on is our electric fan. It comes with all of the material that you need to mount it up. We've got uh, all of the ears but one put on. They just push on. Very simple system. Once you've got them on, you can position it on the radiator. Use your pull ties to uh, get it lined up, get it mounted on, and you're all done. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so now we've got the fan installed and it's done. It's ready to go. I want to thank Scott and PRW for sending this over. It's going to be a great piece here in the shop. We're going to have several projects that are going to take advantage of the engine test stand. So stay in touch with that. And to learn more about this product and any other products for your shop, go over to partspro.com and learn more. Thanks, Scott. We'll see you in the next project. Thanks.